Well, it's been a while I did do a Docker installation video. Today we'll go ahead and install the TP-Link Omada controller using a Synology NAS218 Plus or even a Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're not well versed with the TP-Link Omada controller software, it's the same as a Unify OS for their uh, networking equipment and TP-Link has its own enterprise level equipment that has its own uh, controller software. The thing is, to have the controller software, you have to purchase uh, an additional hardware. So it's not something open source. You can go and download and use an existing Raspberry Pi. Uh, like for example, Unify OS, you can install it from within Homebridge and get that whole controller application for your cloud key, your Dream Machine or a Dream Machine Pro. TP-Link doesn't have that. So in today's video, we'll go and have that installation completed using Docker. And just in case you have followed my videos, the Ultimate HomeKit Hub or even the Ultimate DIY NAS, you can use these this same video to have uh, the TP-Link Omada controller installed on your network. Now, if you go officially to their uh, software downloads page, there is no official Docker container. So if you visit this developer, it's through this developer that we have the Omada controller made available using Docker. It's not officially supported by TP-Link, but you get the entire controller adapted for Docker. So there is no difference between this one or Windows or Linux. So what we're going to do first is the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can install the, the Omada controller using a Synology NAS. And the second part, I will show you how to uh, do it using a Raspberry Pi 4. Now let's log in into the Synology NAS. What we're going to do first is go ahead and download the image. So let's open up Docker. We go to registry and we look up for Home Omada. Now this is the official version to download. So we can go ahead and download it and uh, always use the latest tag. Now I've already gone and downloaded it, so it will show as it's already completed. Meanwhile, let's go up to file station and you're gonna create a couple of folders for this installation. So within the Docker folder or where your root Docker folder is, you go ahead and create a folder called Omada. And within Omada folder, we'll create three folders called work, data, and logs. Now we'll go ahead and open up the image that we downloaded, give it a name. Click on advanced settings, enable auto restart, just in case your NAS restarts. Volumes, you're gonna go and add those three folders. Now from here, we'll go to network. Now within network, we will enable this, use the same network as Docker host. So it gets the IP address of the Docker host. In my case, it ends with doc3. Port settings, no changes. Links, nothing. So environment, we're going to add in all of those uh, web ports to access the Omada controller. Now, we scroll all the way down here and go back to the host section. And we just have to add in all of these environmental values. Now, once you complete this configuration, there are two more values that you need to add is your user ID and your group ID to get that information we need to use terminal. You will need to SSH in. This is what happens when you have too many passwords in your head. Okay, all we have to do is type in ID, dollar sign, and type the word user. So this is the user ID and password. So we need to add in these two values. PUID is 1026, PGID is 100. Now this is only for the Synology NAS setup. So from there you want to Click on apply. I'm going to click on next and just want to make sure all of the values are there. I click on apply. Now the first time you start up this container, it takes about a minute to load everything. So please be patient. So to check the status, you want to double click, go to containers. You want to double click on the Omada controller and you want to go to log. Just try opening up a new tab and we're going to type in the I address of the Synology NAS is ends with dot three and the port will be 8088. It takes around roughly about a minute and a half. So that's the patience you need. And then at port 8088, you'll see this web page. You want to click on visit the website. So that's the Omada controller. You can click on let's get started. You can go ahead with the configuration. So this is using your existing Synology NAS. Now, what if you have a Raspberry Pi 4 and you watch these two videos where I have created an ultimate HomeKit Smart Home Hub using Docker and Pontainer. Everything's installed through containers. Or you've watched this video with the DIY NAS where I've even used Docker and Container plus OMV to have that ultimate network attached storage. So you can use a script to install that. But if you already have Docker and Pontainer installed, we will skip the script process and go ahead and access our Raspberry Pi 4 and have the controller installed. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to go and stop the container that's installed on the Synology NAS. 
And what I'm going to do is leave this page as is open. Now my Raspberry Pi address is on dot two. So this is my OMV that I had done a video on, on building your own DIY NAS. So let's go ahead and access it. And then within over here, I did go ahead and install Portainer that we have up and running. That's right here. So right now, if you look at the containers, uh, we have all of this installed in our uh, DIY NAS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to access the Raspberry Pi using terminal. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to access my script that I have over here. So if you don't have a Docker or Portina installed on your Raspberry Pi 4, I'll leave the link in the description on how to use the script to have all this installed automatically. But if you have followed my guide for my last two videos, you already have Docker and Portina already installed. So we're just going to copy paste these commands and have the controller installed. So we're going to create three folders, the data working logs, and then copy paste the entire Docker run command. So Now, depending on your internet connection, this Docker install will take around about five minutes or less. So it's a 500 plus MB file. So copy this entire section, just gonna paste it. And all you have to do is hit enter. And from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and access Portainer. Let's refresh the page. And we see the Omada controller is starting up. So you wanna give it at least a minute and a half for it to start. So thanks to the power of editing, I spliced all that out and now the container is working to access it. We're going to go to 192. The IP address to the Raspberry Pi 4 ends with two and we're going to use port 8088, enter. And we have the controller already loaded. So with this, um, we've installed the Omada controller using a Synology NAS 218 plus that we have over here and using my script depending if you have Docker or, or Portainer not installed. And if you have it, we can use these commands to install the same using a Raspberry Pi 4. So this makes it much more affordable to use your existing hardware to um, control, configure, and manage your smart home network. So let me know if there's any other containers that you use for your smart home and there's no available tutorial so I can take a look at it. And you know, it's a challenge to um, have it configured and bring it to you all. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and happy automation.